Over the past week or so, fans have been speculating about the all-new Pokemon adventure coming early next year, and whether it's going to be an open-world game or not. Trailers have shown it to look almost like The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild in terms of the scope and how open an experience it might be, but that hope can now be put to bed, as the Pokemon company has given a statement confirming that that is not the case. Speaking to Kotaku.com, the statement reads as follows. In Pokemon Legends Arceus, Jubilife Village will serve as the base for surveying missions. After receiving an assignment or a request and preparing for their next excursion, players will set out from the village to study one of the various open areas of the Hisu region. So in truth, this sounds rather like the Monster Hunter series where you might have that base of operations, but adventure to different sectors to explore. The statement continues though, after they finish the survey work, players will need to return once more to prepare for their next task. We look forward to sharing more information about exploring the Hisu region soon. Pokemon Legends Arceus is actually a prequel to the 2006 Nintendo DS titles Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl, and both of those games have remakes due out later this year, while Arceus is due out in early 2022. This news probably won't come as a huge surprise to fans, but there was definitely a hope that this might be a bigger change to the series than the previous games. Pokemon Sword and Shield, for example, didn't stray too far from the template that's been running for over 20 years, aside from adding a mini open world section somewhere within the game. The Diamond and Pearl remakes look set to actually go back to the top-down isometric perspective, and aesthetically are borrowing heavily from the recent The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening remake visual stylings. And for more on all things Pokemon, and for what's new and what's next, head to nme.com.